hello friends tony here welcome in this video i'm going to show you how long it's going to take us to create a full karate with authentication uh, level project okay so let's start let's come here and let's create a new level project by saying level new and i would suggest a blog for example i'm going to choose breeze for the authentication okay Let's choose the SQLite here. And I'm going to use uh, this package, the blueprint. So let's go to installation. I'm going to copy this and paste there. Installing and building node dependencies. And now we need to CD in the block. Okay. Let's run the npm install and npm run dev. Let's also install this uh, package. I'm going to open this with VS Code and make changes there. Okay, let's open with a code. I'm going to maximize this a little bit like this. I think we are okay for the app now. More this, we have only the use of the default one. Okay, let's come here and let's say uh, artisan blueprint new to generate the YAML file, which is right here. And let's open this package, start generating components. We have an example here, which I'm going to copy this and just paste it here. For the models, we have a post with title and the content, and I'm going to leave it, also publish that. For the controller, I'm going to make some changes. We have a post controller with index query all, render the post index file with post. Okay. Then also, I'm going to say I want the create, which is going to render the post create. We have a store, validate the title and the content, save the post. I don't want the other things here. Then I want also the edit. Query the post. We don't need that because it's going to bind that post. Post edit with post. Okay. Also the update. It's going to validate the title and the content and it's going to update the post. And redirect. Also here redirect the post. Post index in the bidder out. And the last one is the destroy. It's going to delete the post and re re redirect the post index. I think we are good. Let's save and let's just come here and run the artisan blueprint build. Okay, has created now the post controller, post factory, post uh, table, model, test, store request update request and the index create and edit blade files and also it's going to has updated the web php so if i go to routes web php down there we have router source post except the show very good i'm going to cut and paste it right here this one because it's going to be only for the authenticated user and i'm going to close also close the draft then i'm going to run the artisan migrate so artisan migrate not fresh just my same migrate here we are okay let's create the post table now let's work with uh let's see first the project if i come here and open the blog.test Yeah, here we have, we can go and register with a fake filler here. And here we have the dashboard. I'm going to add a link for the post to navigate the post. For that, I'm going to open the resources views. We have layouts and we have the navigation. Here we have this link, which I'm going to copy and duplicate this one. We is going to be the route post index 
And here we're going to say just pause. Okay, come here, the refresh, we have pause and we can click here. Right now we have a blank page. Okay. Now let's go to dashboard. I'm going to select all here, copy and now open the post directory, index, paste this one here. I'm going to say post here and then instead of something like this, I'm going to go and copy from the flow byte uh, this table example here. We're going to make changes first. Uh, and here we're going to make a for each. Okay, so let's just cut this and make a for each pose. Dollar sign pose as a post, single one, and paste it here. So the ID is going to be in here. And just let's say dollar sign post, not title, but ID. Title is going to be right here. And actions is going to be here. Here now I'm going to add a div with the class to be flex. And a space x2. And in here I'm going to add the anchor tag for the post edit and also for the delete close the form i think we are good here oh uh, yeah we need also to update here this one for the id title and let's say actions i'm going to save select all copy and now let's go to edit or let's go first to create and here I'm going to paste that in. Now let's go on inside the auth login. I'm going to copy this form, what we have inside, and use this form here. So when we have the table with this, I'm going to paste that form. We're going to make changes. First, the method, the route is going to be post.store. Uh, Here is going to be the title. Input, also here is going to be title. And we have to select all the emails and change that to title. Using to be the content. We can say also content here. And content. Then instead of the text input, I'm going to say text area. Okay. For the content here. We are okay, we don't need this remember me here. Also this if statement. The here we're going to say create and I'm going to select all this one and open the edit and paste it here. Just let me make changes here. So I'm going to say edit the route is going to be update. And we need to add here the post. Okay. Also, because this is going to be update, the method is going to be put here. The value old. Also, this is going to be the default dollar sign. Post title. And then here I'm going to add the dollar sign. Post. Uh, content I think we are okay here we need to say update we are got create here let's say create index and let's see let's come here 
and the refresh yeah we have an id title we don't have any posts so let's add also a button here to create on the index let's add an anchor tab post creates let's say create here i'm going to save and let's see if i refresh we have the create here class text indigo and hover this is going to be also flex justify and and let's save and refresh and now we have the create button here yeah we need also to update this one a little bit let's go on the layouts go as layout and here i'm going to copy this go to create we have a form instead of this one I'm going to add, or instead of this, let's add this one. Okay. Which also here I'm going to say MX Auto. And the same thing I'm going to do, let's save for the edit. So instead of this div, save this one. And now let's see. Let's refresh. Now we have more. Okay let's open the controller so if i open the post controller here we have the index get all the posts and pass in here then the create using the request which we don't need here but anyway let's leave it then post create passing the request validated also we don't need this so we are okay like this edit very good update i think we are very good also here destroy we don't need a request but let's do it let's test now let's come here and let's fill the form create and now we have one let's create another one fill the form create we have two of them we can uh, uh, yeah let's change the theme here because we select we don't need a dark theme but as you can see now let's work with the edit i'm going to say update update and we have updated here if i remove this just to test the yeah we have first this one now then we have updated let's work with the delete everything works correctly so that's it how we can create how long is going to take us to create a project with postgrad authentication tests we have here feature tests and http post controller as you can see here we have index display view we created first post and we check so we can run okay friends now that's it all about this video what i wanted to show you if you like such a videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best